I want to be an advocate for young people that went through the mistakes that I did. I encourage them, you know what, you just keep on coming to dreams. You, it will take us far. I experienced gender-based violence. I, I was raised by my grandparents. Yes, so after completing school, I was invited by my aunt to go stay with her. When we started staying there, everything was all right. Not until I discovered that his husband started abusing me, like harassing me sexually. Uh, the bedroom that I was sleeping in, it didn't have a door. So when the wife goes to sleep, he used to come to my room. I used to scream, but the wife never used to come out. My only solution was to run away from that place. I decided to go to my boyfriend's place. After I stayed there for three months, I found out that I was pregnant. I told him about the pregnancy, of which he refused, and then he chased me out of his house. I was, I was depressed. Um, I, uh, I didn't know of how to use condoms, of how to use safe sex, uh, to practice safe sex, because I got my second pregnancy due to lack of knowledge of using condoms. I lost hope in myself. I thought mm, being rejected by two men and then having to be a single mother at a young age, I never thought I would go far. I started coming to the center last year, November. Apart from testing, apart from family planning, I also went through mental health, mental health services here. Yes, which really helped me a lot. I got away from depression. I'm no longer depressed. Yes. So if the biology is high, they were teaching us on how to how to prevent yourself from getting HIV, how to prevent yourself from getting early pregnancies. So after I learned all those things, I got interested, saying. I, this is the knowledge that I needed all along. If I knew this way back, I don't think I, would, I was going to have two kids without fathers. Dreams has helped me, I've been empowered. I have to negotiate for sex. I have got that right as a woman to negotiate, saying, I, if you want sex, let's use a condom. If you don't want to use a condom, no sex, because I want to protect myself. In this, our community, a lot of girls are passing through what I passed through. And then they don't have that knowledge of the knowledge that I got from him. As youths, we don't want to accept that HIV is there, HIV is real. So I'm helping them saying, even though you're young, being found positive, stay on medication, life still goes on. Even if you are raped, please don't stay at home, because you won't know the person who raped you. Maybe it's HIV positive or it's got an STI. You have to rush. If you don't have somebody who you can talk to, who you feel you are free, because I know I'm sure here you are free with us. Are you happy with us? Yeah. When you come here, they will come in with love. They make you feel at home. They protect you as a girl. But dreams has helped me to push, saying, I will make it. I will have a brighter future ahead of me.